For this project, you can use any kinds of yarn with its appropriate hook. To start off, let's make a magic ring like this. And then after that, insert your hook, enter the loops, pull the second loop to the front and twist it. After that, yarn over and pull through the loop. And let's start round one. For round one, you will have to make single crochets. And to make that, insert your hook into the magic ring pull the yarn and you will get two loops on your hook like this and then yarn over and pull through all two loops and you made one single crochet for round one you will have to make a total of six single crochets into the magic ring when you finished making six single crochets Pull the tail and the ring will be closed. So pull this tail and the ring will be closed like this. To start second round, insert your hook into the first single crochet that you made in round 1. So here, this first single crochet, insert your hook into that stitch and make a single crochet. Pull the yarn and then over and pull through the two loops and you made one single crochet put a stitch marker on that stitch so you will not lose the track of round two and for round two you will have to make increased stitches in every stitch to make an increased stitch you will have to make two single crochet together in one stitch so one and then the second one in the same stitch so you made an increased stitch so just repeat making increased stitches or two single crochet together in every stitch and when you reach the start point, you will get a total of 12 single crochets. So now I reached the starting point. Remove the stitch marker and let's start the third round. Make the very first single crochet in the first stitch and put the stitch marker on that stitch again so you will not lose the track of round 3. For round 3, you will have to make one single crochet and an increased stitch in the next stitch. So I made one single crochet and after that, I will make an increased stitch. Now I'm making the increased stitch, two single crochets together in the second stitch and repeat this pattern. So after the increase, make one single crochet in the next stitch and an increased stitch into the next stitch again. So repeat this pattern for 6 times and you will get a total of 18 single crochets. Just repeat this pattern for 6 times. For round 4, you will have to make single crochet for 2 times. I made the first one and now I will make the second single crochet and make an increased stitch into the third stitch. So for this round 4, you will have to make the increased stitches in every 3rd stitch. Repeat the pattern of 2 single crochet and the increase for 6 times and you will get a total of 24 single crochets. For round 5, you will have to make 3 single crochets and then after that, an increased stitch into the foot stitch. Repeat this pattern for 6 times and you will get a total of 30 stitches. For round 6, you will have to make single crochets for 4 times and an increased stitch into the 5th stitch. Repeat this pattern until you reach the start point. And for round 7 to 12, you will have to make just 1 single crochet in each and every stitch. So just repeat making single crochet in every stitch without any increases. And when you reach the start point, there will be 36 single crochets for one row. So repeat making one row after another by making single crochet in every stitches. 
So here you will get like this. I put a stitch marker on the first stitch of round 7. And here 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there will be 12 rows like this. And to start round 13, make 4 single crochets. 2, 3, and 4. And then after that, let's make the decrease stitch. To make a decrease stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn. And then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn. And you will get 3 loops on your hook like this. Yarn over and pull through all 3 loops and you made 1 decrease stitch. And then after that, repeat this pattern, which is 4 single crochet and a decrease stitch for 6 times and you will get a total of 30 stitches. So here, this is how I make the decrease stitch. Starting from this round, we will make the stitches in back loop only. So to make the back loop only stitch, insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch. So normally we crochet like this, but for back loop only, we will have to insert the hook into the back loop of the stitch and make the single crochet like this so yeah for round 14 you will have to make three single crochets in back loop only and then decrease stitch also in back loop so insert your hook into the first back loop pull the yarn insert your hook into the next back loop pull the yarn and then pull through all three loops and you made a decrease stitch in back loop only so repeat making the pattern of 3 single crochet and decrease stitch in back loop only stitches and you will get a total of 24 stitches when you reach the start point. So when you make the back loop only stitches, so here you can see like these loops and they are the friend loops because you crochet the back loop so only the friend loops are left outside. And we will make like this tentacles and the ruffle of the jellyfish in those front loops. So now let's continue the pattern. For round 15, make two single crochet and a decrease stitch all in back loop only and repeat this pattern for six times. For round 16, you will have to make one single crochet and a decrease stitch all in back loop only stitches and repeat that pattern for 6 times and you will get a total of 12 stitches. After round 16, fill inside your project with fiber fillings or maybe scrap yarns and when you fill it, Please fill inside a lot so your project will be in shape. If you fill just a little, it will look really wonky. So yeah, for this last round, which is round 17, make back loop only decreases for 6 times. If you are going to make the octopus, please skip to the last 2 minutes of the video. And if you are going to make the jellyfish, I will show you how to make the tentacles now. For your tentacles, can you walk? And we will be walking in these front loops. So like this, these front loops, we will crochet tentacles on that. So to start making the tentacles, make 21 chains. So just yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through and just make chains like that when you finished making 21 chains skip the first chain and make a single crochet in the second chain repeat making single crochet in every chain so you will get a total of 20 single crochets
So now you got the very first tentacle and then after that make slip stitches for three times on the front loops so here the front loops insert your hook into the front loop and then pull the yarn and pull through and you made one slip stitch make slip stitches for three times two and then the last one So when you finished making 3 slip stitches, make 21 chains again and then skip the first chain and make 20 single crochets and then after that make slip stitches. If you don't have enough front loops to make slip stitches, just move to another round. If you don't have enough front rows to make slip stitch, move to another round by making a slip stitch. And then make three slip stitches that you have to follow the pattern or make the tentacles. So make eight or ten tentacles in total by repeating three slip stitches, 21 chains and 20 single crochets. Just repeat making tentacles on those spiral front rounds, front loop rounds. When you finished making the tentacles, let's add this rougher thing. So to make that, you will have to move to the last round of friend loops. So here, this round, this is the last round of friend loops, which is also the first row of back loop only pattern that you made. So we will move to that round. Now my last stitch location is on the death row of the front loop round so make a slip stitch into the second round and then make another slip stitch into the first or last round and then after that we can start making the rougher thing. To make that rougher thing, chain 2 and yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, next front loop, and pull the yarn. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two loops, and you made one double crochet. You will have to make a total of four double crochets in that same stitch together. So make three more double crochets. So here this is the last one and then after that remove your hook from the loop and insert your hook into the first double crochet that you make and here grab that loop and pull that loop through the first double crochet so you will get like this popcorn or maybe like bubble stitch after that chain one and skip one stitch and make the bubble or popcorn stitch in the second stitch so what you have to do is make four double crochet and then remove your hook from the loop and insert your hook into the first double crochet that you made and then after that make a slip stitch so here make a slip stitch like this so yeah this is how you repeat the pattern chain one and then after that skip one stitch and make four double crochet and the reverse slip stitch in the next stitch repeat this pattern until you reach the start point so now i reached the starting point and to end this round, I will just make a slip stitch into the first bubble stitch that I made. And then after that, chain one and cut the yarn. And don't forget to weave in the ends. If you don't know how to weave in the ends, just hide the tail of your project inside the main body. 
So here the main body is the head of the jellyfish, so just hide it inside it. And now I will show you how to embroider the eyes. If you have the amigurumi eyes, just use them and stick those eyes above above the rubber thing on the fourth round. So here above the rubber on the third or fourth fourth round and make the eyes and for the second eye make that in three stitches apart when you finish sewing just hide the tails inside your jellyfish like this and your project is neat and tidy so this is how i add the blush just add a horizontal line tiny line beside the eyes and you will get like this so here these are the jellyfish that i made and now i will show you how to make the octopus so first repeat the pattern of the jellyfish from round 1 to 17 Now we are on the last round, so to go up, you will have to make slip stitches across the rounds like this and make slip stitch until you reach the last front loop round. So just slip stitch across like this until you reach this first front loop round. So here like this, insert your hook into the front loop of another round and make a slip stitch just repeat making like this until you reach the last front loop round so now i reach the last front loop round and then turn your work chain one and for the octopus make three double crochet in the second stitch And then two double crochet together in the next stitch, which is the third stitch. And then more three double crochets together into the fourth stitch. So here, just beside the two double crochet stitch. And then after that, remove your hook from the loop and insert it into the first double crochet that you made. Here, this is the first double crochet that I made and make a slip stitch just like this and chain one and repeat this pattern for seven times to make another one skip one stitch and make three double crochet together in one stitch two double crochet together in the next stitch and three double crochet together into the next stitch and then after that make a slip stitch from the first double crochet so when you finish making like this big bobble stitch chain one and don't forget to skip a stitch to make another one another bobble so just repeat making this pattern for seven times So when you finished making the pattern for 7 times, there will only be 2 stitches left and we don't really have enough stitches to repeat the pattern. So make 4 double crochet each in those 2 stitches. Just make 4 double crochet in the last 2 stitches. When you finished making 4 double crochets each in the last 2 stitches, make a reverse slip stitch from the first double crochet and then after that chain 1 and cut the yarn. 
Don't forget to weave in the ends and also don't forget to embroider the eyes. If you want to use a keychain, sew the keychain ring or keychain strap on top of your project. So now the tutorial is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And if you make one by following my tutorial, share your work by tagging me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye!